This is Hydrogen TAP1 Series 2. What we're looking at here is the final arrangement of the 12 5.5 inch by 3 inch plates. They're stainless steel separated by non-conductive washers. This test is to see what happens for an 8 minute test with plain tap water at around 68 degrees. There is no electrolyte in the water. If this test succeeds, there will be two sets of these 12. The meter on the left is measuring the voltage on the 12 volt battery. The meter on the right is your amperage which is a little bit over 12, 13 amps. And you can see on the left the voltage is going down even though we have a charger on it because the amp that we're drawing is more than the amps that is being re replaced. You can also see the amount of hydrogen that is being produced. It's going from the top all the way to the bottom. And the water is clear. This is an eight minute test, non-stop. This test is to ensure that there is no slime in the water when we're through untechnical terms. As you can see, the water is clear. The white is the hydrogen. And we're still running around 12 amps. The cell is producing as required. We are two minutes into the test. The battery voltage is still dropping. The amperage is staying approximately the same. Again, this is tap water. There are no electrolytes in it. The cell again is five and a half by three, separated by non conductive washers. They're stainless steel. So far, the test is running smooth. They're, the water is clear. What we're trying to do is create a cell that will be able to run on tap water that we will not have to filter. Most of the cells that I have studied so far, the water has gotten very cloudy. And they're using electrolytes. As you can see right now, there's no electrolyte in this water. And the only reason you can't see through it is because there's so much being so much hydrogen being created here or released I should say that it is going from the top to the bottom we are now four minutes 37 seconds into the test so far the water is clear our battery is dropped down to 12.44 and the amperage is stayed approximately the same
We are five minutes into the test. The test will run for eight minutes. This cell is producing at first sight the same amount of hydrogen that the round tube type cells are producing. The reason I'm using plate, plates is because a plate system is much more compact and easier to set up. And it appears that the plates, at least the plates that I have here, I will be able to put many more plates in here and get much more hydrogen out than the people that are using the tubes, one inside the other. We are now 6 minutes 16 seconds into the test. The amperage has stayed the same. The voltage is down now to 12.39 volts. As I said, we're running a charger on this battery. The charger can't keep up with the amount of power that we're using. The battery on the left side is at 12.40, and for some reason it looks like it is steady. Right now we've taken the power off. You can see the amp meter is to zero, and the charger is charging the battery up again. We're seven minutes, seven seconds into the test and the water is clearing. What you see is hydrogen bubbles. And if all goes well, the water should be clear. We are now 7 minutes 31 seconds into the test. The water is clearing. And you will see the cell, which is 12 plates. We're 7 minutes 57 seconds into the test, and it is clearing. 